Hey guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel, and you're watching the Spectrum AR636 programming series. This is part five, connecting your AR636 receiver to your PC. To get your AR636 receiver connected to your computer, we're first gonna need to open up the Spectrum Programmer uh, software that we discussed, and we already have that open here. Now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to take our SPMA3065 transmitter receiver USB programming cable and plug the USB side of the cable into any available USB port on your computer. We're going to go ahead and plug that in now. There we go. Now we can hear that chime from Windows. And what you'll notice up here in the upper right hand corner of the Spectrum Programmer software is it now says cable connected but no device. So what you want to do at this point is take the servo lead side of the programming cable and plug that into the bind slash PRG port of your AR636 receiver, which you can see in the picture here. Once you've got that done, uh, we're going to power the receiver on our bench top uh, by selecting the power cable checkbox here and that's going to power the receiver through the USB port. Now I want you to pay close attention to the box that comes up. It will say unplug battery. To ensure your computer is not damaged, be sure there is no battery plugged into the receiver when the computer is powered. Right, so if you had an ESC connected to this and a battery connected to it, that would go ahead and supply power to the receiver so you will not need to provide power through the USB port and you could back feed the power from your battery into the computer and fry the USB power circuitry that's in your system. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that servos use quite a bit more power than what is available through your PC. So in the event that you uh, were to power your receiver using the power cable option in your AR636 uh, Spectrum Programmer software, you could also fry the power output of your, um, of your PC's USB ports because the AR636 will try to provide power from your computer's USB port to the servos. So anytime that you're using this particular checkbox, make sure that you don't have anything connected to it except the programming cable, uh, anything connected to your AR636. So right now I've gone ahead and verified. We are sitting on the bench. The only thing that we have plugged in is the programmer cable. So let's go ahead and power it up. All right, so here we see that there is a model mismatch. Now what that means is we don't have a model that is programmed for this specific receiver. And because of that, we're going to go ahead and select uh, or leave it at its default and use new model. And we don't have anything in the computer. We don't want to show all of our models because we want to just let it create a new one. And we're going to use device settings. All right, so it creates a new model called model one. We're going to go ahead and edit that. And we're going to call this Recom Roy Old Pro P51. So we are programming this for Recom Roy for his Old Pro P51. Now the device is an AR636 receiver. Uh, Roy's only got six channels, but we'll go ahead and leave it on nine. And we will hit save. All right, so now that we've got our model selected, we've got cable and device connected, we are connected successfully to our PC, and we can move on to the next step. All right, guys, so that's all there is to connecting your AR636 receiver to your PC. Be sure to stick around for part six, which is your AR636 registration, firmware upgrade, and calibration. Stay tuned.